Yo, Vaisanta here. So this video is going to be about held items in Pokemon Unite. And we're going to go over what they do and what I think are the ones that are good. So you unlock the first item slot at level 1. The second item slot at level 7. The third item slot at level 10. And you can level up your items once you get to level 9. Uh, you can buy these items in the shop on the second tab of your clothing shop. Uh, the clothing part of the shop. And I just want to quickly go over attack and special attack. So moves depend on the Pokemon, right? And then the moves themselves have either a, a property of physical attack or a special attack. Um, it varies. So some of them have all attack, some of them have all special attack, or some of them just a mix. Um, it depends on the Pokemon. So here's the chart on how I characterize these items in my opinion. Everything is still debatable. And I will go over the items and explain why they are where they are. So let's start off with the offensive defensive item that I listed here. Um, these are the items that are that can be both offensive and defensive, uh, kind of self-explanatory. But the float stone, it gives you one attack and 24 movement speed. And when you're out of combat, you're also 50% faster. And at level 30, you get 24 attack and 120 movement speed and 20% movement speed out of combat. So this item kind of works defensively when you're one, trying to run away from the battle and you want to get out there and heal and stuff like that. And also it could be offensively, you want to quickly jump back into battle and also jump into like to attack or like to help a teammate. So that's why it's, it's where it is. Shell Bell gives you special attack plus 6 and 0.9% move cooldown decrease at level 1. And then on attacks, when you're using a special attack move, you'll heal a little bit of HP. At level 30, you get 24 special attack and 4.5% move cooldown reduction. Um, the Shell Bell can be seen more of like offensive, but it kind of depends on the Pokemon's move, right? So, because then it affects the cooldown. So if it's like for a support character or whatnot, it will make those moves come out more often. Um, it does give a slight heal. So that's why I kind of make it offensive defense and then the last one on that section is the energy modifier it gives you 1.5 AO's energy collection rate um, which allows you to get your unite move faster and it also has the 0.9% move cooldown reduction and 7% more damage for unite moves at level 1 at level 30 the, the collection for AO's is 6% increase and your move cooldown reduction will be at 4.4% reduction and the Unite move will be at 21% damage increase. So this allows your Pokemon to unleash moves, uh, Unite moves faster and this item kind of benefits uh, different Pokemon different ways. So let's say for Wigglytuff, right, the ult gives you shields for your teammates. So that's kind of defensive. Um, and then the move cooldown also depends kind of the, the same thing. So it could be defensive or offensive. Uh, but most of the time, the Unite moves are offensive. But I, that's why I made it as offensive defense. Defensive items. Experience share. At level 1, you get 16 max HP and 30 movement speed. As well as 20 EXP per second passively if you have the lowest EXP on your team. You also don't get EXP from KOs from your teammates. So be wary of that. And at level 30, instead of uh, 16 max HP, you have 160 max HP and you have 150 movement speed and instead of 2 EXP per second it's 4 EXP per second. Um, since you have to be the lowest EXP on your team to actually activate the, the passive, um, this usually goes on support characters so they can like actually support, right? Uh, so they'll be maybe playing more defensive and then so you don't have to worry about KOs and attacking and whatnot. So that's why this is more defensive. It, it was close to being offensive defense because then you could put it on a more offensive character. But most of the time, those offensive characters will be like attacking, jungling, whatever. And then next we have is the score shield. At level 1, it will give you 15 max HP and 5% of your HP will be as shield when you're charging to score the goal. Um, when you're shielded, you don't get interrupted while charging. And at level 30, you get 300 max HP and 10% max average HP will be shield instead. Uh, one could argue that you could be offensive for this because you're trying to store goals, but all of the stats on here and everything is kind of defensive stuff. Um, the next 
the rest of these are pretty much obvious. So I'm just going to describe what they do. <laughs> so the Rocky Helmet gives you 18 max HP and 3% of your max HP is reflected when you take damage at level 1. And then at level 30, you get 180 max HP, also 28 defense, and then the reflected damage will be 5% of your max HP. Next we have is the Buddy Barrier. Gives you 20 max HP at level 1 and 20% of the shield of the max HP of the user and the lowest HP ally when the user uses the Unite move. So uh, everything kind of based on their HP. So if we give a barrier to your, your lowest HP ally, it will be based on their HP, not your HP. Um, at level 30, you get 400 max HP instead and 40% shield of the max HP instead. Next we have is the focus band. It gives you 6 special defense and 7.5 defense at level 1. If you take damage that will cause you to faint, you will instead endure it and heal HP over time. And at level 30, you get 30 special defense and 30 defense instead. Leftovers gives you 16 max HP and you heal extra 1% HP recovery out of combat at level 1. At level 30, you get 160 max HP and extra 6 uh, HP recovery and 2% max, I'm uh, not, 2% HP recovery out of combat. The AOS cookie at level 1 gives you 8 max HP and every time you score a goal, you get a permanent another 100 max HP. At level 30, you get 160 max HP and you get 200 every time you score a goal. The Assault Vest gives you max HP of 18 and a shield that is made of 9% of your HP when you're out of combat at level 1. Right At level 30, you get 180 max HP and 28 special defense along with the shield that jumps to 15% of your max HP when you're out of combat. Alright, offensive items time. Uh, a lot of these are straightforward of why they're offensive. Scope Lens gives you 1.5% crit and 2.3% crit damage at level 1. At level 30, you get 6% crit and 12% crit damage. The Muscle Band gives you 1 attack and bonus 1% attack when you hit for level 1. At level 30, you get 10 attack and then you get 5% more attack speed and the bonus attack damage on hit is 3% instead. Um, the Wise Glass gives you 10 special attack and 3% special attack at level 1. At level 30, you get 30 special attack and 7% special attack instead. Special attack specs gives you 0.8 special attack and permanently 8 special attack when you score a goal at level 1. At level 30, it becomes 16 special attack and then every time you score a goal, you get 16 special attack permanently. We have the fierce attack dumbbells. Okay, attack plus 0.6 and then your attack increases by 6 every time you score a goal. At level 30, you get attack plus 12. And every time you score a goal, you get another 12. Alright, now for the what I consider to be good items. Personally, I've been using a lot of Muscle Band, Scope Lens, and Float Stone. The character I mostly play deal physical damage. Uh, I main Monchamp, Cinder Ace, and Lucario. Most of the time, I do use uh, Monchamp and Lucario. And then once in a while, I'll use Cinder Ace, depending how I feel. Uh, generally, the Float Stone is too good. It can go on any character. Moving speed is just nice in these kind of games. If you want to escape to heal, you get out faster, you want to help, you want to flank, um, you get there faster, defend, everything like that. So it also gives you extra attack, which works well, well with most of the Pokemon basic attacks. Next, we have Scope Lens, right? It's very nice, especially if your Pokemon has a move that already increases crit. But this allows you to have a chance to crit anyways. So if a Pokemon has good attack speed, the crit can shine even more. 6% isn't too bad uh, So throughout the whole game. So you, you, you're bound to land some crits. Next is more of like a defensive item is Rocky Helmet. It gives you Reflect and it gives you extra defense and HP, right? It worked well on very defensive tanky Pokemon and it allows them to do more damage while just being tanky, right? That's, that's the role. Um, Shell Bell works well with special attack Pokemon, right? So it gives you a special attack up. It gives you heal when you land special attacks. Uh, there are a lot of Pokemon that do special attacks. 
You get a move cooldown as well, so it allows you to spam more often. It works well also on supporters, because some supporters do special attack, and the move cooldown help a lot. Next is the experience here, which is extremely good for support. So you can concentrate on supporting. It gives you the extra edge of movement speed as well, which is a solid choice for a supporter. Don't want to be in there most of the time anyways, right? And then we have uh, special attack specs, wise glasses, muscle band. These are just straight DPS, which are great. So these are my opinions uh, of, of the ones that I consider are good. Hopefully you find this video helpful. I do stream on Twitch. I plan to stream this as my main game when it drops. I can't, I'm still waiting for a release date, right? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe, all that shit and that. And with that, later days.